Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Steam World Quest. Today we are heading back into Act 2 with Chapter 9. Back to school, our persistent pupils enter the main building of the college. Let's get going and see what's gonna go on here. Chapter 9, back to school. Alrighty, so we made our way into the college last episode, but honestly it was a really short episode last time around. It was a really quick chapter and oh no, these two. Are they up to no good? Guess we'll find out. Wow, after doing my best to leave the shackles of this place behind me, I burglarized my way back in. Oh, Copernica, I'm just happy you're not like those uh, like these snooty brats. It's okay. Right, back to school, let's do this. Okay, let's go forward. We might run into those two that were causing a problem. What's with this? Pair of pair of lips, weird. No. Oh, okay. It's like a speaker. Loose lips of eloquy. Attention, all students. By decree of your headmistress, burner discipline is removed from the course list and replaced by body, soul, and gold. Huh? What kind of lesson is that? This is. It almost sounds like, like. That voice struck a chord with you. I, I, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's move on. Confounding. <laughs> I love Orc so much, he's my favorite character. So there's more than one way to go here. Okay, it looks like I chose the right way. There's a treasure chest. And also, the shadow over Al Alicidia. The day will come when Algyron lays down his chains and our world breaks. Encouraging. Okay, well that was that. What about in this chest, what do we got? Found a spiked collar. What's a spiked collar do? Um, Equipment. Uh, we don't have anything here. We definitely want to get something. Ooh, makes it look really bad. Just don't impale yourself on the spikes. Okay, critical chance, 8%. We definitely want to improve our stuff here. Um, We'll just do that for now, I guess. And if it's what I got going on, I mean, I, do I, I mean, I guess I don't have orc, I meant orc. I'm really equipped right now. I thought I did. So who has new cards then? Yeah, you have Smolder and you have Stone Lion. But I'm still on the fence about, like we could try it and put it over Raging Demon. But I feel like it might be better against bosses and not average fights. We'll have to wait and see. For right now we can move over this way. And let's go down. Oh gosh, here we go. Boom, wait, oh come on. Darn it, I really wanna get a good start on these guys. But we already know they're weak to cold, so we're gonna start working on that. Hmm, not really the best start in the world. Okay, not exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, maybe we can do something a little bit different then. We can poison one of them. And I still don't have enough for, okay, then we'll just do Creeping Cold. We can't do a combo this time, it's fine. We'll do Poison, and we'll do Creeping Cold, because it does really good damage to both of them. We really need to do some good damage as soon as possible. Here we go. Okay, we'll do the Brain Freeze, we get the chain going on. This is Copernicus match. She should be doing good. Nice. Okay. Do the Thunder Wave. They're building pressure. And this isn't exactly what I wanted to see. None of these are Copernicus moves. Great. Uh, well, then the best thing I can do is that and start beating this guy down. Cause this could get really bad really fast cause they're both gonna explode at the same time. Oh no. Uh, let's get rid of team repair. Here we go, come on, ah. Uh, almost, but not quite. Cause they are going to explode. Like I do cold feet, but like they're already weak to it. So like maybe if I were to do lie cut there and that there, and then Fixer, Fixer wouldn't be too helpful right now. I just gotta sort of get lucky. All right, well, gotta hope for the best. Not really lucky, but that got rid of him. Are you gonna explode? Probably. Ah, oh, come on, that was lame. I tried really hard there, it just didn't work out. Oh, we'll get level 24 Warwick. And we get 61 gold, it's something. If I could have actually gotten the first slice there, ooh, that stinks. If we got the first slice, we would've been fine. So down this way, we have some books that gave us some coins. 
And we can go through. So what's going on around here? We got some kind of chalkboard we can read. Hey, there's something written on the chalkboard. It says important. Maybe it's a clue to something that can help us. Fellow alchemists and Corget enthusiasts. My research on the rumored mega zucchini referred to by mountainous tribes as the golden marrow or Sasquatch has finally come to fruition. Supposedly the golden marrow has migrated to the dark frost mountains from a strange territory rich with unknown flora and fauna. For future map revisions, I have decided to call this strange territory the Cursed Land. That Killjoy Council Patrick doesn't like it, so everybody should really start calling it that until it sticks. I am putting together a mountain expedition. Anyone interested in joining in and becoming a part of a zucchini history can sign their names here. Here's sincerely, Professor Lem Lemuel. P.S. Don't forget to pack your marble pillows. How many signed up for this cuckoo trip? Let's see. None. Aw, <laughs> poor guy. Anything else happening down this way? Doesn't look like it, so I think we're gonna go up here. Oh my, oh, not another one of these dudes. Did they notice me? They may have. Okay, let me beat up the books first, and then I'm going for you. Wait, come on, oh my gosh. It's like, the sword has the reach of a toothpick for some reason, it's weird. Okay, so you're weak to storm, right? No, you're not. You're weak to fire. Well, I don't have that right now, so you're getting storm. Uh. Okay, well that sort of works. So I can just work on you a little bit. I mean, we're not really doing so well right now. Sort of stinks. There we go, come on. We're gonna throw some ice shards and chaos something there. Didn't read what that said before it disappeared. Hmm. Okay, that's not too bad. I could just do, actually no, that is bad. <laughs> um. Fine then, this wouldn't be too bad, I guess. We did focus and we did brain freeze, that'll do electricity. That'll build up for that cyclone slash eventually. Okay, you're gonna do ice shard, I don't appreciate it. You guys are too much right now. Let's do team repair, I think? I don't know. Like that would be a good move. Get rid of one, beat up the other. Nice, yeah, he's gone. Totally gone. Then we got our final move here, which is enough to take him down. I was hoping we could do a heal before that. Oh well, we're fine. So what else is going on around here? Looks like nothing I can interact with, unfortunately. Got some coins there, but that's about it. Remember, this is only one path along the way. Ooh, what is going on in the background here? I don't know, like some kind of weird puzzle. I wanna keep that in mind. Aha, I should have kept in mind. Uh, well, it said the first room was green. Like, where will this send me? Back here, right? Where am I now? I'm there. So if I want to, so green is down, blue is left. Okay, so let's go to the room to the left. There is not much here. So where are we now? We're back at the beginning. Okay, I'm starting to get it. So we went up. So let's go left now. Will we just go back to where we were? Indeed, okay, so. Yeah, we wanna go up and then to the right and then down. Oh, here we go, oh my. Let's save. I feel like, what was the other direction then? Oh no, this thing again. Stupid dragon. We're well, not thing, these two. I don't know why I'm calling them a thing. So this is a different dragon though, right? Yeah, stupid dragon, we paid good money for that prism rock thingy, now cough it up before I make you. The stomach acid will melt it. Oh my. Well, maybe we can help? Aha, looks like we caught up with the gate crashers and another dragon. Oh my. Speaking of caught, does this make you thieves? Very funny, frog face. And we're in the middle of a thing here, so if you don't mind getting lost, I'm trying to wrap my head around where you found a navigator prism in the first place. Oh yeah, how about you wrapping your head around this? 
you want. Calm down, everybody. I'm sure that we can settle our differences and turn this situation to our mutual advantage. Siding with bandits? Well, the two seem resourceful enough to know their way around. Regardless of tricks and traps, they could prove useful allies. <laughs> this place is nothing compared to the maze like catacombs back home. We don't want or need your. Woohoo! Our heroes threw themselves at the chance to expand their team and to beat another dragon. All right, well, looks like we got ourselves a new friend. Well, we can't use him quite yet, but it's good to know that they're here. All right, so this is some kind of frost dragon. Uh, the Hyderian dragon. And as you can see, just doesn't, so we're in a bad way. That's what I don't like, like how am I supposed to know that? <laughs> um, but very weak to fire. So basically our team is not gonna work very well. Um, because fire does like no damage. I mean fire, frozen doesn't do any damage. We'll try that out and we'll see what ends up happening, but this is not gonna be very good. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna end up doing about this, but we can land some poison. They're gonna put you to sleep. Honestly, that might be for the best. Just let her sleep through this one. Um, trying to think through what we want to do. Probably not the slash just yet. We can put a shield on you. We could do tinkerer, and then we could do a gas regeneration. It'll help over time. We got the chain going on, so that'll be good. This might not do any damage. It's a water jet. It does fro frozen damage. Yeah, this will do no damage. That stinks. There's just stuff not working out here. We might end up losing, having to redo it. Get rid of that. Uh, that could work, just doing that kind of stuff. There we go, 122, 80, and 84. Actually, not bad. So we're stacking on damage with him, at the least. Got our Frost Breath doing problematic things. Okay, so now we can do the Fixer, Lie Cut, and mana barrier, but I, I really want to do this. But I feel like we should wait. We should build it up as much as we possibly can. So, doing this might be a good idea. Okay. So if we can find a way to build it up two more gears, we'll be able to do massive damage. Oh, but now he's asleep. Bad timing. Uh, definitely get rid of this. We get a steam punch. And we could do team repair, but I don't think it's worth it if we're trying to save up gears. Yeah, we'll do shield up. We'll do it on Galio himself. So Arcane Detective, Steam Punch, that missed, I guess. Come on, wake up. Is he up? I think he's up. Maybe. What is that effect he has on him? Uh, good question. I have no clue. Uh, maybe I should just, yeah, do this one. It'll work. And then I could do this, and I could start building stuff up again. There we go. So you should be clear of that. Wowie! That was pretty good. He's at 3,000 health, under 3,000 now. So this seems pretty winnable still, but not perfect. Hmm. So definitely cycle through these two. Try that out, we'll get the chain for it. Got the wind call, got the lie cut, raging demon, not bad. Nice. Frost breath is still a pain, really painful. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do that, we're gonna do tinkerer. Now I can't afford that. Well, that'll work. So we get shields up. This won't do any damage, unfortunately. But at least we were able to heal all of our team to some degree. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of the Cyclone Slash. I guess it works, so we'll put a shield on you. We'll put focus, and we'll do Arcane Detective, and then we'll be able to do Thunder Wave, which is some kind of damage. That's always good. And boom. So he's back under 2,000. Well, I mean, he was never under 2,000 until now, but you know what I mean. So you know what? We'll do poison, we'll do tinkerer, and then we'll do regeneration. At least the poison will do something. The only problem right now is that Copernic is really hurt. I don't know if she'll be able to survive this, depends on who he attacks. Okay, let's try this out then. Get rid of creeping cold. 
Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to earn up gears at the moment. Oh, you know what? We probably should have done Tinkerer. I don't know. I think it's fine with what we got. If we could just keep going. Oh, and I don't know if we can keep going at this rate. Yikes. We're getting healed and everything, but as you can see, we're still not able to see. Let's try that out. Regeneration again. Poison. Tinkerer. I don't know what their negative effect was. It looks like either less defense or less damage, something like that. He's just going crazy right now, though. He still can't see. So, like, we need to do something about that. It's so, like, this, like, just doesn't get knocked off for whatever reason. And then we can do wind call and that. And the next turn, we can do the other thing. Hopefully. There we go. The freezing damage hurts, but it's not the end of the world. So now we can do the lie cut, and I can cycle through this for sure. Cycle through it again. Gosh darn it. Oh well, that's fine. Do this, and then do mana barrier on you. Let's give it a shot, let's see if it's enough. It might be. Oh boy, it almost was. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. Who are you gonna put asleep? Oh no, that was it, the poison finished you off or something, I don't know. Uh, level 21 for Copernica and Galio. I gotta definitely play as Armelli next episode. I mean, I feel like I wanna replay this one because there was a whole area we missed out on. The prism, it's totally gone. Look what you did! It's gonna take us even longer to get out now. I mean, we might not be done. My sincere apologies for any inconvenience at your end. However, at our end, we still hold the required means to advance through the Wayfarer's gates. At this point, collaboration would surely benefit us all. Do we have a choice? <laughs> Fine, but we're not partners, allies, friends, or whatever. We're just happening to ramble in the same direction. If I see something that fancy, I fancy, I'll grab it, whether, whether it belongs to you or not, and there's not a thing you can do about it. You squeaky sneak. Splendid, everything worked out without anyone getting hurt. Put a sock in it, furry head. Wow, that was rude. Except for my feelings, that is. <laughs> Yikes. All right, we get Terra and Thane. Independent to a fault, these roaming gifters, or grifters, <laughs> the last thing they're doing is gifting anybody anything. Grifters lack a true north and put their trust in nothing but themselves. Being away from home for so long, they've reconciled with the dusty roads. So we aren't done. Gotcha. So what else can we do around here? It looks like we're going back somewhere. Oh, this Oh, this is new area. Attention all students, as stated in the recently refurbished Al Alchemy Education Act, any violation of academic integrity is subject not only to disciplinary probation, but also paddling. Well, that's just awful. Gulp, this is crazy. It must be her, but why? It seems like each new pair of lips impels your apprehensions to grow? They do, and it bothers me. Intriguing. Will you stop with those jittery little barks? Oh, doubt. Grants Copernica a shield that absorbs all fire, frost, and storm damage taken and heals her for 50% of that amount for two turns? Also inflicts malfunction. To who? Who does it inflict malfunction to? Uh, victim can't use skill cards on herself then. Uh, we learn from failure, not from success. That seems interesting. Definitely worth considering. But well, it just depends on who we run into. That's sort of the weird thing about boss fights. Like you don't know until it's potentially too late. Anyways, we'll go up here. And we got new, new guys to fight. Okay. Well, what's this say over here? Was there something? I guess it was just some books I could slice. I feel like I need to heal. Like I have some repair vials. Oh, but you know what? We gotta try our new friends anyways. So maybe that was a waste. Active party, I definitely wanna try you. But we need to, let's get to our decks and try to figure these two out then, uh, Terra and Thane. So they have Siphon Mind. Lowers one foe's magic and raises Terra and Thane's magic by two grades for three turns. And then we got Steel Strength. No, I didn't want to take a capture, whoopsies. 
uh, lowers one foe's, lowers, yeah, lowers one foe's strength and raises Terror and Thane's strength by two grades for three turns. So once again, sort of stealing stuff. Uh, Axe Chop deals 100% strength as physical damage to one foe. So that's just our normal attack. We got Cut Purse. Deals 60% strength as physical damage to one foe and steals some gold from them. More powerful foes reward more gold, but each foe can be only stolen from once. Interesting. Uh, down this way, we have Death Pulse. Deals 140% magic as arcane damage to all foes, repeats if a foe is scrapped. Repeats if a foe is scrapped. Okay, so if they get knocked out, it'll do it again. That's a crazy combo, and if we do it with Copernica, it deals an extra 50% magic damage. We have Fool's Gold. Deals 130% magic as physical damage to one foe twice. Each hit has a 50% chance of inflicting confusion. It's an additional time if Cut Purse was previously used on the target. Ah, nice synergy there. And then we got Twin Combo. Does 170% strength, physical, and 170% magic arcane damage to one foe. Has a 50% chance to inflict poison for three turns. Huh, deals damage at the end of each turn. Of course, that's what poison does. So I don't wanna edit anything. Very interesting, but now we don't really have a hard hitter, so I feel like that's something where, if I were to do that, I might wanna do something like that. Or actually, maybe something like that. How? Oh my gosh. Just try, you're really trying there, and it just doesn't work out sometimes. So, what do I wanna do with all this? I'm thinking that we'll mostly focus on them if I can, but it might not work out. So I could try something like that. There we go. Also, these two, I think they're new, actually. I don't think they're the fire ones. No, they're, they're the fire ones, maybe. We'll check it out. Uh, Because we're getting healed up, which is good. Not that. Yep, they're weak to, to the ice. We got Axe Chop, we got Twin Combo. I have two Bravados. I definitely don't need two Bravados. Now we got Fixer. Okay, another Axe Chop. I mean, right now they're sort of a little hidden, so I don't know if this is gonna work out very well. Oh, that missed. That's not good. We'll get twin combo, that landed. Oh, whoa! And we get leech. Ah, oh, but missed. That did a lot of damage, though. Got hot spot coming in, not fun. But we do get to heal a little bit, but I guess we took fire damage or something. Let's do bravado. And then we'll just do simple heroic strikes. There we go, get the chain. I don't know if any of this is gonna land is the thing. There we go, that landed, that's good. Oh, you're in trouble now. Chaos Theory, that's what that was, okay. Let's do another twin combo, like that was a lot of fun. So we could do like, let's just do the twin combo and see how much damage it does. There we go, because they're on fire right now, like this isn't turning out so well in some ways, but like 149 plus 230, it just like does so much. I mean, they're weak to, the arcane, I guess, but that's still like crazy good. I really like it. They're fun. It was like Thane and the other one, what were their names? Oh, hey, look at you all set up in here. That doesn't make any sense, but I love it. Uh, craft cards, of course, we have a little bit of everything. We got Hamstring, does physical damage to one foe and lowers her strength. Interesting. Uh, we have Insult to Injury, deals physical damage to one foe stronger against taunted foes. And we also have Icebreaker, deals frost damage to one foe. Hmm, okay. We also have Open Wound, deals physical damage to one foe and inflicts bleed. That sounds pretty good. Um, And there was also Yojimbo. Uh, mark an ally for protection. Oh, it's Orc to mark an ally. For, uh, mark an ally and counterattack if they are attacked. Got you. And then we also have Culling Axe. Um, well, all three of these are technically new for me. We got Envenom, grants one ally 50% chance to inflict poison with physical attacks for three turns, that's interesting. Uh, Culling Axe, deals 90% strength as physical damage to one foe. If the foe is affected by any status ailments, the attack is deals 120%, okay. So that's definitely good to combo with already poisoned targets. And then we also have Drain Life. Does 125% strength as physical damage to all foes, heals all allies equal to the physical damage dealt divided between them. I want that one. It's not unreasonable to get either. 
Okay, do you, no, I wasn't done. Weapons, okay, here we go. So it looks like she, they have sets of weapons now. Only one more for you. Huh. So I don't know what's with the crossed out effect. I guess that means no extra healing. Instead, you just get 5% strength, or extra 5% compared to what we have. He would get Lacerate. I don't know if I want either of those. Um, Storming Mikazuki gives plus 15% strength, adds haste instead of uh, Reign of Blades. Play one additional card next turn. Actually, that sounds really good. That sounds really good. I'm tempted for that one. Uh, we'll buy that, because it doesn't have too many downsides, unlike some of these others. Uh, this one does straight up. So there's Guardian. He was always by 50% magic and raises their physical defense by one grade this turn. I feel like that'd be better for how I build uh, Galio anyways. And it ups his stats considerably 13% for both strength and magic. I think we're gonna get that one. And then well, I can't afford these, but this would be plus 15% magic either way. So just choosing between Thunder Wave and Barrier Field. Hmm, really depends, but I do like Sparking Tome. Okay. So beyond that, I just need to equip some of the stuff we just got. So I just got the, the Drain Life, was it? Did I? Well, I thought I got, I don't know, maybe I got the wrong thing. No, 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 this is what I wanted. Sorry, I'm getting confused. <laughs> uh, What could I get rid of though? Maybe an Axe Chop, just one Axe Chop, and just do that. We'll try that out and see what ends up happening. Moving this way. Oh, there's two ways to go. That's a bit concerning for me. What's with this bookcase? It seems odd. Let me go around you for just a moment. Get a treasure chest. Thank you. What do we get? Tengu Dance. Deals 100% strength. There's storm damage to all foes. Switches to Tengu Mask, which uh, raises Orc's dodge chance by two grades. I'm tempted with that one. I like the storm chances for Orc. I'll have to keep that in mind. For right now, let's just beat this guy up and hope everything turns out okay. I really could have used the ice here, actually. Should have kept that in mind. Can I run away? Uh. Oh, they could do attack us first. Oh no. Uh. Eh, hey, we get to run. Okay, well I'll come back there, maybe, and beat them up or something. I really need some extra health. I really do. It is the healing items cost so much money. Speaking of which, I should definitely buy some more healing items if I have any money left for it. Hold on. Recovery items. I can only afford one more of the repair potion or the repair vial. I'll buy a couple of these. There we go. Man, everything's so expensive in this game. I mean, I could beat them up. I would just need... It'd be very silly to do it now. If I could find a healing place first, that'd be much more preferred. Going down this way, what do we got? Nowhere to heal, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, now this one's a bit more of a maze. Our goal is to get where? On the bottom right. I sort of wanna go down to the left and see what that's about. Nothing here. And we get a treasure chest. Okay, the lock means a chest. We get doom. Okay, this might be for our two new friends. It inflicts a curse that deals three to five percent damage, or three to five, to, not even damage, three to five percent of the victim's maximum health as arcane damage to one foe wherever they take damage, or whenever. Whoa. Lasts for three turns, less effective against certain strong foes. So, less effective against bosses. Is that the thing? The main characters I'd want to use that against? Hmm. So I've explored that now. Let me explore the upward parts of it now. So we're gonna take a right, take a right, take a right, go up, go right, go up, and then go down and then left again. Uh, let's see if I can remember that. Okay, now we're here. Let's take a look around while we're here. That's about it. I'm gonna take a right and go up and then right and then up and then down and then left all the way. Okay, now we're here. Luckily it does sort of give us some idea. And that way we'll be able to go into every room. 
We get sleep, and inflict sleep on one foe for three turns. Combo with Thane and the other one. Does 100% magic damage as arcane damage once per battle. So that's for probably Copernica? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, see, so yeah, we're just gonna go all the way to the left now. Beat up whatever we can, just sort of out of curiosity to see what we find. Doesn't look like too much at the moment, but we have to check. Okay, so now I just gotta go to the right, to the right, down, down, left, up, left, up, okay. Just to get to those some of those rooms over there. So we do that, and now we go down. Or actually, yeah, there's a couple of rooms here I'm just trying to check out. Let me actually go to the right first. Nothing here. I don't know until I try though, that's sort of the tough part. And now I can go down and back to the right. I'm starting to piece this all together. Now I wanna go down, down, left, up, left, up, okay. And there isn't anything here, but like, I don't know until I try it out. Okay, so I think we're just about good just to do the normal way to get us to the exit. To do that, I need to go to the right, and then down, down, right, right. Got it. And, oh, book, got him. And we're gonna go, get a little plus sign. Very cool, we made our way out on the other side. This actually is a bit of a longer chapter compared to the last couple of episodes, I suppose. We certainly have missed something along the way. Okay, this is where I need to change some things up. Whether I want to or not, it's just sort of necessary with these kind of characters. We'll try this out, did I get you there? We'll, we'll find out in a moment. Yeah, sort of, kind of. Okay, who can I go for here? Let's do that a little bit. <laughs> that wasn't as good as I was hoping it would be. We could at least do Cold Feet. And then, yeah, let's do Axe Chop against you, because if I do it against the other guy, it'll hurt whoever attacks him. We're all pretty low on health is the problem. Oh, and you're already asleep, great. The only character I really, really needed not to be asleep. That is not good. Let's, oh, well, I really do need team repair. Hmm. Maybe not the best idea. I'm grinding a lot of my actions right now. Come on now, do a bit of that, do a team repair. That's gonna help at least a little bit. Ow, that hurts. Man, come on, what is with this game sometimes? I just want some heals. I just want some heals. I guess I'll do that and then we'll do Tinkerer. There we go. Have, help them regenerate a little bit. And then we'll do Guardian, there we go. The Guardian's already helpful. That guy's already healed all the way back up. Oh, but you're back, okay. Not really the best timing for it, but We'll work with it, because now we can do this, and that's really what I wanted. Excellent. If I could just get rid of fire, dude. He's a, oh no, leave him alone. He's the biggest pain in the butt ever. Let's do that there. Actually, I'm not really sure. Like We could do Axe Chop. Hmm. Would I even have enough for that though? I don't know. I could at least do that and see how that goes. I don't know if it'll be very good. Okay, well that did heal us, so that's good. Ow, I'm gonna get knocked back down so quickly. Okay, here we go. Just trying to find out exactly what I can do. There we go. That should be good enough. At least get rid of fire, dude. And then we can focus all on the slime. The slime is a lot easier. There we go. And then the thunder wave, because it does 100 damage, very good. Finally attacking Galio. Lots of interesting options. 
I would like to do twin combo. But if we could do this and get our chain, because we haven't really seen this to leech move. That's pretty good. Do another axe shop and then leech. That got some health back. You're gonna heal yourself, but it won't be too effective. Okay, not exactly what I was hoping for, but we can just do twin combo. It should be enough to get rid of you. Maybe. I think so. Yeah, look at that. We got it. Cool stuff. Okay, so level 21 is Terra and Thane. Very cool. And we get some stuff for that. We get some ointment, which is pretty good. And we're gonna continue to explore. It looks like there's really only one way to go. Okay, we'll try it out. Here we go. Now we can save and heal and everything. That'll make this easier to figure out, I can only hope. Oh, more of this guy. I think we can handle this, though. Just like this. Okay, more fire dudes. Actually, one of those guys looks new. So you're weak to frost, you're weak to arcane. Okay, well then we actually have a pretty good setup. Huh. Uh, I'm gonna do that, actually, so that we can get a chain going on. And that seems like it's, it's a good idea. Okay. I mean, obviously it's not perfect. We're still gonna take damage and stuff, but definitely less than we were probably going to take. Okay, we got cold feet. This looks like it could be good. Because now I can do creeping cold on you. This could go somewhere. And they're already weak to frost. Now they're super weak, 288 damage. That's wonderful. That's a bit of a problem. We can do another Creeping Cold and guarantee them basically taken down. We'll do a bit of that. Yeah, look at that. Okay, we gotta get rid of the other one, though. And they're weak to this. They're, are they weak to physical? Or is that, that's Arcane. I guess all of our moves are Arcane with them. Hmm. I hope that doesn't miss a bunch. It might. Gosh darn it. Dang it. Okay, at least that landed, but that one didn't. Okay, that that landed, it got chain lightning. Man, oh man, this hurts. Really hurts. Uh, I feel like we're gonna have to heal after this. Let's do Arcane Detective. No. This is tough. Because we're so close to making this work, but then we got beat up. I'm gonna have to heal after this and then they're gonna come back. That's gonna be a big mess. But it's what I gotta do, clearly. Come on now. We can at least do that. Maybe my setup isn't very good. I don't know, I'm not very good at card games, apparently. There we go, come on, this guy's almost down. He's paralyzed, but still not gonna actually do anything worthwhile. Okay, just do this. Sure, why not? Got him. Okay, so we definitely need to heal. I don't really have too much of a choice. But I'm thinking we need something a bit more offensive, so I'm thinking maybe I could get our active party and do something like Auric. I feel like this is a good balance of elements, and then I can do this again. I know, I know I'm doing the same battle twice, but I really sort of gotta. Okay, um. Not really what I was hoping for. Just because I need more. At least I can do that. Okay, that's something. They're gonna do Ace Alchemist, which I guess just sort of gives them resistance to everything, or maybe increases their damage. That's what's happening there. Okay, now you guys are in a bit more trouble, maybe, maybe not actually. Hmm. Yeah, actually I should hold on, because now they got this invisibility thing going on. Now we have haste, which could be really good. I've been wanting to try that. This is actually landing right now. There we go. Oh man, that stinks so much. That's the hard part about not having Galio. All right, I'll do Brain Freeze. And I'll do Twin, like I really don't wanna do Twin Combo. 
because I really don't want to miss everything. That really stinks. There we go, but no, that missed a bunch. All that did was damage to Orc. It's like, oh, that's really frustrating. Why is his first battle after here? It's like, I have to get past this, you know? If I want to survive everything else, like, oh, that's not fun. Just do that, I'm not done. Okay, uh, let's try that. Finish our turn. There we go, at least that's something. Can this please land? Land it a little bit. Can you just stop with this never ending invisibility thing? Like we must have a card that makes it so that it undoes their stuff. Cause now it works down, I'm gonna have to heal again. It's just like, this isn't fun. Not fun at all. I know I'm the world's worst card game player, but geez, I think it'd give me a little bit of a break. I don't know, if it continues being too crazy difficult, I might eventually just lower the difficulty. So I wanna have fun with the game. The whole point, it's a game. So I, oh my gosh, you just finished with this. It's so uncool, this is harder than last time. Mark failed me here. Come on, do the brain freeze. Okay, well at least we got rid of that guy. Oh, come on. I mean, if it could actually land, I'd gladly do this. I just don't think it's gonna land. Like, that's actually going to, okay. That did it, okay, lucky us, we survived long enough again. All right, well you're level 22 now, at least we're getting some kind of bonus for it. I might just try to avoid those people. I don't know. There we go. So I'm gonna just avoid them if I can. If not, I don't know what we're gonna do. Like maybe it's just not a good situation for you guys. And I could just do this again. No, I can't. You're too tall, apparently. Ah, same battle three times. It's like I have no choice though. I, I really need as many characters healed as possible. It's really frustrating. Um. Okay, in the meantime, let's do the steam punch and everything. We can up everybody's defense, I suppose. Okay, it just it's so painful. And then they just get to do the smoky aura. Okay, there has to be something else I can do. I mean, they'll be able to attack me again here. I don't really know. I might just have to take my damage and leave, which is really dumb. It's really, really, really dumb, but it forces me, like, that's the thing, they're still here! I'm still gonna be able to get past them! Ah, oh, man, I would just wanna get past them without losing, like, two characters, like, that's dumb. Well, I was luckily just able to time all the arcane moves or all the freezing moves just a little bit better this time, and it just sort of worked. But honestly, I don't know if I did anything, like, properly better than the rest. I don't know, and we're still pretty hurt, is the thing, you know? Oh, well. Almost another level up for Orc. Well, with that, I can at least move forward and survive a bit more. And if we run into another group of them, I'm gonna be very upset. Okay, we got more enemies, but not quite the same. So maybe I could, if I take a look at my party, maybe I could do that and slice them. Yeah, I actually got the first hit in. How's that feel? And more of those jerks. Okay, uh, got a lot of gear moves here. That's a problem. <laughs> That's a big problem. Um, we'll do that. So some synergies are gonna work better than others. Like that's sort of thing, more characters and more synergies you have to sort of sit down and f figure out, and that's when everything's just falling apart for me. Really is. Okay. I'll do that with you, and do that with you, and that should be pretty good, actually. Come on. Nice. Do it again. Very nice. At least we were damaging that guy down, but man, did these two take damage so quick. Okay, everybody's paralyzed, which is great, but how long is that gonna last? Let's do the, let's do the twin combo on these guys while we have the chance. I won't go to do the leech. That's enough to take you down. Got that, twin combo. Wow. There we go. It's something. Okay, one of them's paralyzed, the other one was not. <clears throat> okay, who should I go against now? I think we should just do this. Hopefully we get a really good benefit for, uh, I don't know, just armor up? No, wait, okay, this is what I was looking for. Yep, it was just more armor up. There we go. 
So you guys are healing each other. Hmm. Actually, I don't know if it doubles up like that, so I shouldn't bother. No, I should do that, and this, and then the brain freeze. And that way we do get the lightning attack, which will do pretty good against them. All right, we at least got that going on. These guys are tough, though. They're just crazy tough. Everything is tough here now. So I think, yeah, we should do that, and then we can't do drain life, though, if we do that. Okay, we can do cup purse. Oh, okay. We can do that. Not bad, because a cut purse gets benefited or like or helps fool's gold be more effective. It, it makes it attack an extra time. So that's like a good combo. We're all gonna focus down one slime at a time here. Because if, if we don't, as you can see, some problems start arising. Uh they just heal each other, or they heal themselves, or whatever. There we go. Well, at least in this time we can heal each other as well. The shielding is doing its thing. Okay, so attack you, and then train life on both of them. Sure, why not? Yeah, I probably could have comboed that with Galio, and that wouldn't have been that big of a deal. It would have been pretty good. But that heals everybody. And this guy's just gonna heal some more. So you know what, we could take that opportunity. All right, we'll do this and do this. Just make sure everybody's as healed as possible, I suppose. <clears throat> that was good. And there we go, okay. Let's do this and just punch him. It's something. Nice. Okay. Uh, and then we'll do twin combo on him. Yeah, okay. This might be enough to take him down. I think so. If the twin combo lands, which it seems to normally, yeah. We're fine. Okay, so that was much easier and we're actually looking pretty healed, so level 23 for both of them. Very cool. What's going on next? Got some books to slice through. We gotta be coming up on the end soon. Oh, this one's been an oddly long chapter after two really short ones. Uh, what's in here? Well, hello, anyone re else recognize this? Huh, what book is that? Oh, it's just a book someone borrowed so often for the library that the cover fell off and she had to replace it with, oh, that book, right. <laughs> That's nice, G, look at the time, we gotta get going. Pride and alchemists? I don't get it. Okay, Um, let's move this way and boom. There we go, got that. And oh, more of these guys. I'm not a fan. Wah, but we got him. Okay, so I'm glad we have some ice powers here, because we need them. Let's do that, and then definitely this. But definitely these guys are weak to ice. They're super weak to ice. That did 288, very good. Definitely our shields are hard at work here. But we need them to work even harder, it seems. This is not a good situation. Okay, we'll do this, we'll do cold feet, and I guess we'll just do poison. Now we have a burning effect on Copernicus that's not gonna be fun to deal with, so we just need to make sure he doesn't do that to anybody else. Because right now he's really just attacking Copernica over and over again. Now we can do brain freeze and... Those moves are great, but I really need something for Copernica. It really didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Oh well. Do the brain freeze, it still does a lot of damage. It's not really a move that's supposed to do a ton, it's supposed to lower the magic. Okay, they're confused. Oh, you guys are almost done for. Ah, not what I wanted. There we go. Miss, really? Oh my gosh. These guys are the worst. This game's getting really tough. Let's definitely do the team repair. Why do you have so many cards? <laughs> it's insane. Okay, that helps. Get the focus going on. Ah, uh, come on, you guys already had Smoky Aura on you. Why are you doing more Smoky Aura? 
Guess we could do regeneration or something. If I could actually land some kind of frost damage, I like that'd be great. And now you're confused at the worst possible time. Thank you so much. Can we just get rid of that guy for like ever? Let's try this out. Can one of those land? Thank you. Thank you so much. That misses and that misses. Great. Would have been great to take him out there. No. I don't think it's worth trying this and actually throwing it on one of our teammates. Uh, I guess we could try this and see what ends up happening. Steam punch him, that was enough to take him down. At least we got that going on. All righty, almost level 23 for you. And now we're gonna move forward. Oh, what is going on back here? That's it? Okay. Got some more stuff. More books to beat up and another one of these. Attention all students, it has come to my knowledge that we have a group of outsider delinquents badgering our campus. They're talking about us. Said delinquents are advised to give themselves over. If not, they must be apprehended on sight with whatever force deemed necessary. Classy. That's not how the traditional decree would deal with things. But she was never much for tradition. The plot thickens. He's just so coy. I swear, I'll put you back in that cage. <laughs> All right, well, we can either go right or we can go up. Oh, definitely go right, so we can get a treasure chest. It'll have glass cannon, raises Copernicus magic by three grades, below us all of our defenses by two grades each of the three turns. That could be great and it could be awful. I do like the idea. Oh, you know what? Before you even get the look, we're going at you. Huh. Not the best move then. We'll do brain freeze for now. Okay. It does something. Detonate magic, wow. Okay, that's not good. Hmm. I could do fixer. Uh, not exactly what I was looking for there, unfortunately. This guy's paralyzed. It might be worth working on him now. That would actually work really well, okay. Nice. Got the axe chop, fool's gold, and leech, and he's almost down already. That's what I like to see. We can do something else here too. Um. So you're disabled right now. This entirely. We'll do regeneration then. Maybe I should have actually gotten rid of the other dude then. I don't know, I wasn't thinking there. Whoopsies. Man, that's, that was very silly of me. Guys, there's like a bit more damage we're taking for no reason. Actually, okay, now we need to do this. Put on herself. Oh, but now this, see, this is why I had to avoid this at all costs and I messed it up. Come on, can we do it? If one of those lands, okay, we're good. That one missed, it's fine. That didn't hit that one. Okay, so shield up, let's put that on you. That should at least be something, like keep healing, man, keep healing. Nice. We got the Guardian, now I'm gonna be up a little bit more. You put the Smoky Aura on you when you already have Smoky Aura on you, the kind of jerk you are. Let's do the Axe Chop, let's try the Twin Combo, let's try some Poison, just anything that might do damage. Oh, there we go, that got him. Awesome stuff, he's down. And that's gonna be level 23 for T uh, Terra and Thane. I was trying my best to remember their names. I'm guessing they're siblings. I don't know which one's Terra and which one's Thane. I think Terra's supposed to be the louder one and Thane's supposed to be the more quiet one. Hmm, not much going on with this. And go upstairs. Oh, hello. Oh, I thought I swung there. So it looks like this is a different type. Well, obviously, like, weak to arcane, weak to uh, arcane and winter, and weak to fire and arcane. So that's where the twins are great. Hmm. All right, well, I'm gonna protect those two and then throw poison on you, why not? Okay, come on now. There's your poison. Ow. 
Yikes. Not good. Okay, what else can I do here? Um... I don't have enough gears to make what I wanted to work with team repair, but we could work with Tinkerer. Maybe. Yeah, we could. So just punch you, regeneration, and then Tinkerer. That seems pretty good. So we got another chain going on so we should be able to heal everybody a little bit more. And then one more time. There it is. It'd be nice if we could do some other moves soon, but that works for now. Oh, they're doing mana barrier. Oh, just like we have. I didn't know if it was any different, because it's not. Okay. Um, I wanna do brain freeze. Let's see how that works. I don't know if it'll work very well at all. It, it missed two of them. And that missed two of them as well. Not good. Come on, I know we can beat these guys. As soon as they reveal themselves, they'll definitely be in big trouble. But in the meantime, Uh, definitely, will Cold Feet miss? I hope not, I don't think so, but you never know. No, it doesn't, excellent. That hit all three of them. But now they're immune to basically everything. Not immune, but at least. Either increased attack, I think it's increased defense against those kind of things. Let's get rid of Twin Combo for now, and we'll get it again. Okay, it really wants us to do moves for, uh, I mean, I guess it makes sense, yeah. Let's do Cut Purse. And then we'll do Fool's Gold. And then we'll do Axe Chop against one of these guys, just so we can get rid of them. So boom, Fool's Gold will attack three times, and then we can do Axe Chop and Leech against somebody else, which is great. Nice. I really like these, see, they're fun. Huh. Um, Let's do Shields Up out of here. Try that again. It's something. Nice, okay. They're both weak to it? Yeah, because we, we did cold feet, didn't we? And that should be it. Boom, very good. All right, that was well worth it. We got him out of here. Almost at another level up. I feel like for having to redo that one battle a couple of times, that did help us get a little ahead of the curve here. So that's good. Oh my, what's going on? The deans, I mean, headmistress to study is up these stairs. Uh, Oh, that was it. Okay, that was a weird cut off to the chapter. Chapter nine, back to school after schooling some frat brats. Our teleporting troop ascends the stairs to the headmistress's office. I only found 56% of the stuff because I missed the one staircase at the very beginning, but you know, it's way too late. I can't do it now. All right, well, that was still a lot of fun. We'll move on to chapter 10 next episode, but for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Steam World Quest. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Zebra School, so now you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Task Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.